This golden deep fried steak originally called yotiao, but in Indonesia, we call it cakwe. In Indonesia, it is commonly chopped or thinly sliced and then eaten for breakfast as porridge toppings. Today, I'm gonna show you how I make this classic bread recipe. First, let's get some flour. Season it with a little bit of salt and then add 2 teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Mix the dry ingredients until everything is well combined. Now add an egg, cold water, and oil into the batter. I'm gonna mix it with a spoon, and once the batter thickens and it's getting harder to do with a spoon, switch using your hand. I'm just folding and punching the dough until everything is mixed well. Once you're done, cover the dough and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Now take out the dough and we're gonna knead it a bit. If it's too sticky, go ahead and add a little bit of oil or flour. Here I'm punching out the dough while spreading it at the same time. You just need to knead the dough until everything is smooth, then roll the dough and wrap it with plastic wrap. Let the dough rest for 3 to 4 hours or refrigerate it overnight. I rest mine for about 3 and a half hours. Dust some flowers on the table and the dough so it won't be sticky. Then flatten and roll the dough to a rectangular shape. Next, we're gonna cut it using a knife. Mine is about one inch wide. Remember to adjust the length of your frying pan and take a note that the dough will be stretched before frying. Now dip a chopstick in the water and smear it on the dough. This will make the dough stick together. Then press the two dough in the middle and make sure the top and bottom part stick tightly. If not, it might get separated while frying. If you're not frying it right away, please cover the dough with plastic wrap or towel to prevent it from drying out. Now let's heat up the pan using medium heat. The oil needs to get nice and hot before frying. We're gonna stretch out the dough a bit before frying it. Then in it goes in a nice hot oil bath. Keep turning the dough to make it expand until it turns to a nice golden brown color. Would you look at that chunky boy? It's getting really puffy and big. Remember, yotiao is best eaten while it's still hot. It gets chewy if you leave it for too long. You can eat it with chili sauce or dip it in soy milk. The hollow bubble in the middle is a signature of this Chinese bread. It will suck the liquid of the dipping sauce. It's so airy and yet when you press it, it bounces back. I give this 
8.2 out of 10 for its versatility and simpleness to cook.